many times people think lawyers are magicians. People think lawyers are malign. Some people think lawyers are Zeriko Zuzeranda of the legend of the seeker. But we are not. Because what, what will make you report a case to a lawyer after 10, 20 years? What do you want him to do? Is he a magician? Now, understand that there is always a time frame whereupon you can institute an action. If someone should wrong you or infringe on your rights, let's say, for instance, someone takes or lay claim to your property. Let's use land as an instance. Someone lays claim to your land. Uh, he has been using the land for quite some time. But you decide to wait after 15 years before you can now walk go to your lawyer to see if you can do anything by instituting an action against the person then the law would not come to your aid this is because you've slept on your rights there's a principle of law which says that vigilantibus non dementibus juria subvenient which means that equity aged the vigilant and not the indolent you cannot sleep on your right and expect the law to come to your aid you can't so that's that's what brings us to statute of limitation statute of limitation is simply the time frame whereupon you can bring an action in court and reclaim or claim damages for a breach of either contracts or whichever thing that you're asking the court for the law doesn't allow you to wake up one morning and then something that happened 100 years ago you now bring it up it doesn't allow you to do that reason being that even some of the people you call as witnesses might have forgotten some of the people that you might that will be relevant to the case in question might have died or relocated or lost their memory. So the law wouldn't do that. If in all things we do, there are time frame whereupon we can institute such action in court and claim damages. For instance, if you enter into a simple contract with a person, it could be an agreement, it could be a contract to deliver an item or buying and selling a contract of buying and selling it could be an agreement to work together and let's say for instance the person did not fit his own part of the contract you you cannot bring up that matter in court after six years okay you have within the time frame of six years to bring up that matter if it's after six years it will be statute bar which means that the time has expired, it has elapsed for that case. If it's a land transaction, if you have just 12 years, if the land transaction is between private individuals, if, it seen, if it's with respect to recovery of land from the government, you have 20 years. Let's say, let's be, let me give you an illustration. The government revokes a land and destroys the property on the land you feel that the, the government has breached your rights or has infringed upon your rights and then see because you have the c of o and some other relevant documents which is the building permits you now wait after 20 years you then commence the action in court against the government the action is status bar you will be left with nothing because you slept on your rights you've waived your rights that's what it means so once your right has been infringed upon, once someone has wronged you, it is expedient that you institute an action or you consult your lawyer almost immediately. If it's with respect to public officer, officials, people that work with the government, maybe one of them has infringed upon your right, you only have three months, three good months. So after, three, after that three months, you cannot do anything against the person because it will be held to be statute bar. My name is Isaac Oki. I'm a lawyer and a real estate entrepreneur who uses the machinery of the law as a tool to safeguard the interests of my client. See you when I see you again.